Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palicka, international nail artist and educator here and today I have prepared a really nice and summary design for you. Have a preview of that in here. Yeah, everyone loves those summer designs. I hope you'll do it as well. Let me know in the comments below as I'm looking forward to reading them all. Let's start! It's going to be a fun design to do it, but absolutely easy like uh, and quick to do it. Uh, you can see it, we have been doing some sand and shell uh, design. The color I have used is an Adam and Eve, that's 215. And for this design, you have to paint your background first, and that's what we are going to do it. So I'm just painting a gel polish all over. It has actually an amazing coverage, this color, so I'm trying to apply it as thin as possible. Like always with those very highly pigmented gel polishes, we want to get those nice and thin results. And then let's cure it. And do the same on the other tip. So really nice and thin layer. and then cure it as well. You are also going to need some uh, clear acrylic powder for this design. So once my first layer cure, we can take it out and paint the second coat. Again, very nice and thin. Okay, and now let's move on into part two of this design. So I'm going to sprinkle it with some clear acrylic powder. Just so we get the sand texture. Okay, put a decent amount of it. And then using a, a dotting tool, we are going to do some carving in the sand. So I want some cute fits. Try to clean it once sometimes the dotting tool, um, just so you get a neater design. Okay, this part needs to be a little bit longer. And then we are going to do it at the bottom part. They can join together. And then let's do the toes. Big toes is bigger, so I'm doing two dots. And then some single ones. Obviously, the longer time you spend it, the nicer design you will get. Okay, so we've got one. Now let's do another one.
as you can see the gel polish also absorbs those acrylic powder so if it's necessary you could add a little bit more into it and then the toes okay let's cure it and then on the second tip we will do slightly different design put it here so again thin layer sprinkle and now we are going to write and the sound let's cure it <coughs> okay our feet are almost ready let's do the next part so i'm using the same color apply a tiny bit of it in there and then deliner brush so we'll do some sand waves Okay, let's sprinkle it with clear acrylic powder as well. And then cure it. That looks super cool actually on its own. And then same on this one. and then sprinkle it we didn't apply the top coat uh, you could do this design with the top coat as well um, i just quite like to have the texture like this uh, using the gel polish and the acrylics protects it oh no whoops whoops and the acrylic protects it uh, what else it does like make sure you do a really nice and thin lines because as you can see it the when the gel polish absorbs the acrylic it's kind of makes them to spread a little bit more okay keep that in mind so if you do too thick lines it will just uh, looks heavy okay close that acrylic powder and remove the excess of it because otherwise all my products will slide because acrylics powder is made out of the dry out beads uh, from the monomer this is a little bit of the chemi chemistry guys for you as well uh, so that's why it's good to have a matching systems because this is just dry out monomer okay so it's the same monomer which is used and like in a big big pans they are just spinning it out to dry it out and we get those wee tiny tiny bits okay the first one is ready so i'm using the uh, dust brush the manicure brush to remove any excess of it and then the things looks even prettier uh, as you can see it has really nice uh, texture but it feels lonely so we need to decorate that a little bit with our uh, gold bits and pieces uh, they actually awesome and fantastic and um, 
I need to guys show you because they are all different qualities. So as you can see it on this one, I have used some um, different brands I had it. Like they change the color, they fade over the time and they are much bigger. They are so cute and tiny like and better quality. Uh, so that's what I love about um, those specific ones. Okay, remove the excess of the acrylic powder from this one and we've got cute love writing there. And then base gel. So soak of base gel. The gems applied with the soak of base gel are lasting ages like and that's quite a good tip guys for you as well. Let me close my brush so it doesn't cure. Old brush so we can apply some uh, bits and pieces and I want some part of the design in here. So here I want the star. I think it looks amazing, the star. And I will try to find another one because what else I like is the detail on those beads, uh, on those metal particles, guys. I might have it. Uh, I do hope I have it. The star as well to show you the difference. I've got some here as well, so you can see it. The color of what. The color of it is different. Gosh, don't look at my ugly nails from underneath. But also look at the dots. Ah, no, I need to do it here. So one and then this one. Is it? Yeah. I'm sorry, cameraman, you have to do something about it. <laughs> uh, I can, you can pull up. Okay, I'm going to pull up then in here. Okay, so there we are. So that's the one I like because the detail is even much neater on it. And then on the other ones, you can see the detail isn't even as clear, the dots. Uh, so they are much nicer. And then I show you the shelves, the difference in the shelves. Shelves, shelves, Dorota, shelves. Mm, where are you, the shell? Here. And what I like about it, because they're so tiny, you can play more with the design. Don't laugh. It's not a straight packaging I've got on the top. Oh, I forget that, guys. I always choose the harder way. Yeah, so you can see, guys, the difference uh, in between those two. But anyway, I love this star, so I'm going to place this star in there. And I'm going to put some pearl in here. Bye-bye. And I want quite decent. No, that's too big. That is nice. Let's fresh cure it. Another, another design. We are going to do something nice in here. And what I want, I do really love those stars. So. I really love those stars. My tiny we shall. Try to apply, uh, apply the base gel quite neat uh, so it doesn't go over your matte surface too much. Okay, and then shell and shell. So let me see what other shells I've got in here. They are super cute as well. And another one. Let's flash cure it.
Mm, quite often, guys, you ask me also like how the designs are born like in my head. So I can see that I quite like it, how neat it looks. So I don't want to overdo it. Um, I'm going to put a couple more caviar beads. So basically, once you see the things, um, you know if you should add more or not. I've got drop of the base gel on my brush and I'm just using this drop of the base gel to attach those caviar beads. They are so tiny. Mm, I don't like even numbers, so uh, it always doesn't look nice. Like, I don't know why I just don't like even numbers. I do prefer uneven numbers when it comes to the designs. Uh, so I'm going to leave five, ca five caviar bits in there and then a couple more in here. So the ones on the top are kind of more of a random placement. And then the one on the bottom are more neat. Let's cure it. And then here, just the same. <laughs> Those feet are so cute on the sand. And then let's do one more shell in here. What I've got in there. Uh, oh, this one is so nice. This one is quite different. It looks like the necklace from the Little Mermaid. It does really look like a one from the necklace. Who did watch this Disney movie? I love actually Disney. <laughs> yeah, she had exactly the same shell on her necklace. Freeze it. This one is ready, so it can go into our collection. I don't want to overdo it. I really like how... Uh, plain kind of uh, look it has. They look awesome together, like really awesome. And then this doesn't look uh, great. We need to add those couple caviar bits in there just to break it down a little bit. Yay, that's much better. Give it a cure and then I can show you this fun design uh, which we have created today. And I hope you have really uh, enjoyed uh, seeing this technique, uh, something a little bit different. Uh, I'm also looking forward to seeing you in the next video because uh, we have been really busy recording today. Um, so I can show you like as many uh, cool designs as possible. So that's another one ready. Let's put it there and then see the full combination of those uh, sand designs. Uh, they are super cool actually guys, I really like them. You can see the texture on it as well and all those writing. I'm sending you glittery hugs and bye!